Carol Baskin killed her husband, whacked him. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial and my makeup is going to be inspired by the Tiger King. So if you haven't seen it, where have you been? Like it's literally all over social media on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, like there are memes everywhere. It's basically a series on Netflix about this guy that owns a tiger zoo, like a big cat zoo. So he has tigers, he has white tigers, lions, even as monkeys. So yeah, it's it's quite wild. <laughs> I really recommend it. I watched it in like two days. It's a short documentary series and it is very interesting to see the kind of life that these people lead. So on Instagram, I have seen quite a few makeup looks going around inspired by the series and that is what I wanted to do today. So I'm not going to ramble too much in the intro and we're gonna get straight on into the video. Okay, so what I'm going to do is gonna do like a three part cut crease and I wanna do leopard print, tiger print and then white tiger print on the lid. The first shade I'm going to go in with is actually from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Volume 2 palette and I'm going to take the shade Perfectionist which is this one up here and this is going to be like my kind of base transition shade kind of thing and I want it to be super soft so I'm taking it on a really big fluffy brush. This is the 228 Luxe Crease Bar brush by Zoeva and I'm just going to blend that up here really close to the brow bone. This is going to be the base for the leopard print, so I don't want it to be anything too crazy. This look is going to be pretty out there, it's not going to be a wearable look. I'm feeling quite creative today, so I want to do something a bit different. And I really need to sort out my eyebrows because they are growing all the way down here, but I really can't be bothered, so yeah. I'm just going to kind of wing it out a little bit past my eyebrow. If you have not heard of Tiger King, especially if you have TikTok, <laughs> there is um, this sound and it's like Carol Baskin killed her husband, whacked him. <laughs> and I was like, who on earth is this Carol Baskin? And I was very intrigued. And so I realized, okay, everyone's talking about this Tiger King. So I went on Netflix and I found it and um, I watched the whole series and it was very interesting. So that is all I'm gonna do now for like the transition shade. And I'm going to take some of the shade. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna change palettes because there isn't a brown dark enough for me in there. I'm going to take the Tati Beauty palette and I'm taking the shade Ritual, which is like this kind of dark brown shade down here. And on a really tiny pencil brush, I'm just going to draw some kind of dots, which are going to be the leopard print spot kind of thing. So you want some of them to be big, some of them to be small, like it needs to be pretty random. So we've got our little spots down there. I'm doing some bigger ones, some smaller ones. I'm just kind of trying to make it look like a leopard print spot. <laughs> now that we've got those down, I'm taking my MAC gel liner and this is in the shade Black Track. It's a super, super black gel liner. And I need a really, really tiny brush for this. I've got the Sigma Winged Liner E06 brush. We're gonna draw around these like spots. Okay, this is not really actually small enough. So yeah, you just want to draw like an outline to the spots. I'm going to try the NYX um, matte black liner and see how that goes. Okay, that's better because it has a really fine kind of tip. We're going to get super, super up close right now. I think it kind of looks like a leopard print, right? I don't know. We will see how it turns out. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. I'm also just drawing like some random dots in the middle. Okay, so one leopard print is done more or less. Now I'm going to do the other eye probably off camera and then I'll be back to do the rest. Okay, we are pretty much done with the leopard print and the next one we're gonna do is a tiger print kind of underneath that. So I think I'm gonna do just like a little kind of cut crease under the leopard print just so it, I have like a straight line. I'm just cutting underneath where that leopard print is, if that makes sense. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. 
For the base for the tiger print, I'm going to take an orange. Obviously, we're going to take Feeling Myself, which is an orange from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Volume 2 palette. And I'm taking it on a fluffy brush. This is the Zoeva 221 Lux Soft Crease. And I'm just going to blend that into the crease and follow the shape of the cut crease that I did up there. I mean, you could probably do this in the opposite order. Do the lid first, then the tiger, then the leopard. Didn't really think this through, did I? So anyway, then this Joe guy, who is the Tiger King, he's very eccentric is probably the word I'm looking for. I mean, I've never met a person like him in my life. He owns all of these exotic animals. And there's this woman called Carol Baskin or Carol Baskin, Baskin. And Carol Baskin is like an animal rights activist and she is Joe's worst enemy and literally Joe hates her so much <laughs> and it's pretty funny he makes videos about her about how much he hates her and she basically protests against what he does because she believes that he abuses his tigers and doesn't feed them properly and that he breeds them too much and stuff like that so basically they are sworn enemies and I don't really want to ruin the series for you if you haven't watched it yet. But Joe hates Carol Baskin. Okay, we've got that down and I'm going to blend it out with the yellow, which is the shade No Joke from the Jaclyn Hill palette. This one over here. Taking a Zoeva 225 Lux Eye Blender. And I'm just going to blend the edges of that orange. I feel like this orange isn't really a tiger orange is it no i really love big cats i think they are so beautiful i personally don't think it's a good idea to keep them as pets i don't know in my country anyway it's not legal i don't think it's legal in the us anymore either it used to be maybe um but yeah they're just so cute and the tiger king's zoo or whatever you would call it sanctuary i don't know you could visit it and see and play with all the little tiger cubs and they're just so cute i would love to touch a tiger cub but obviously i think it's better that they stay in the wild um where they're supposed to be before i do the tiger print i'm going to cut the crease first because hopefully that will make it easier for me so again taking my concealer and i'm just going to cut the crease Again, I'm following the same shape. Okay, the crease is cut. <laughs> That's as even as I'm gonna get it. And before I do the tiger print, I'm going to set that concealer, otherwise it is gonna crease. And with the Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm taking this shade, which is called Certified. This is actually such a nice bone shade. It's one of the most pigmented that I have used. And I'm just taking it on a flat brush and setting the concealer. The concealer I used is actually, oh gosh, just got that all up in the crease, which was not a good idea. Oh no, again. As I was saying, um, I did actually use my Wet n Wild concealer. It's the Photo Focus concealer to cut my crease just because my Nabla one is almost finished. And actually it worked pretty well because it is quite thick and kind of full coverage. So it was pretty good and I never use it so now I've actually found a use for it and you just see how like brightening and white that is it's amazing it's time to draw the tiger print I'm kind of scared I don't know how this is gonna go I'm just gonna draw like one line for now we have two lines so basically we want random lines going up and down and like squiggling and look like a tiger print i hope so i am actually copying a print so i would recommend you do that if you don't know how to draw a tiger print off the top of your head should we zoom you in again just so you can probably see a little bit better and now that i actually kind of know what i'm doing we have one tiger eye <laughs> well we haven't finished yet so i'm going to do the other one and then we'll be back to do the final print which is going to be a white tiger okay guys so the final bit is going to be like the white tiger and same thing so i've already got the white base down 
So I'm just going to do like a little kind of tiger print, I guess. So I'm kind of doing like a cow print on the inner corner, like on the inner portion or like a Dalmatian kind of thing. And then I'm gonna just start drawing like kind of the same lines as I did for the tiger. So just like random little lines. Kind of like if you were drawing lightning or something. I think it looks kind of cool, except the inner corner does kind of look like a cow, but um, it's a white tiger, okay? <laughs> the upper lid is done, guys. Now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna start with the shade No Joke again, which is the yellow in the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to take that on a kind of little fluffy brush. This is the 231 Lux Petite Crease by Zoeva. And I'm just going to run that all the way along the lower lash line, kind of blown out like so and then i'm going to take the shade feeling myself again which is which one is it this one <laughs> this one here which is the orange shade and i'm gonna take that on a pencil brush and i'm going to run that all the way along the lower lash line but just closer to the waterline so that you can still kind of see the um yellow underneath hopefully and in my waterline i'm taking the mac gel liner in the shade black track and I'm going to kind of elongate the inner corner to give that cat eye effect. I am going to do my mascara and lashes off camera and then I'll be back just to do the lips which is going to be the final touch and we will be done. Lashes are on guys and let me tell you that putting on false lashes with like a lash lift is kind of difficult because my real lashes kind of go like this now and I can't get the falsies behind them. It's kind of a struggle. But yeah, the lash lift is still going strong. I also filled in my brows a little bit. Okay, it's time to do the lips. I am wearing a nude lipstick, but I'm just going to line my lips with MAC Well Lip Pencil. And I'm gonna go for a brown, I think. This is the, yeah, NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade Teddy. And it's like a kind of dark, chocolatey kind of brown it's got a, a purple undertone actually it's so pretty i love this color and i think that goes quite well with this look and i'm pretty proud of myself obviously it's not perfect it's not the best but i think it turned out pretty cool what do you guys think that is the finished look I have hooded eyes, so when I open my eyes, you can't even see my lid. So I'm going to close my eyes so you can actually maybe see and raise my eyebrows. That is what the eyes are looking like up close. I think it turned out pretty cool. Obviously, I wouldn't wear this look out. It's not really an everyday kind of look or even a glam wearable look. It's maybe good for a party if you want to dress up as a big cat or something or if you want to go meet carol baskin <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial it was something a bit different and it wasn't that much of a tutorial i didn't talk that much throughout the process just because i did actually have to concentrate quite a lot thinking about it like it was a bit time consuming but it wasn't the most difficult thing ever because a tiger print or a leopard print is so random even if you have shaky hands and kind of go like this the lines come out more random and it actually looks more realistic so you don't need to be really really precise if you would ever want to recreate this look um i don't know why but if you would like to maybe for instagram purposes hopefully this was helpful <laughs> and i hope you enjoyed the video anyway if you did like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also click the subscribe button down below and i hope to see you in my next one thank you so much for watching guys Bye-bye.